So the other day I was at a gas station and I came across a packet of Little Debbie's Cosmic Brownies. And Little Debbie was always around in my childhood, so I decided to buy one and eat it. But like most things from my childhood, it really doesn't hold up. However, unlike Hollywood movies, I can improve on it by making one from scratch. Oh, quit crying! This movie is nothing more than a 90 minute cash grab and you know it. First thing you gotta do, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Did you judge America for protesting the COVID-19 lockdowns? Only for idiots on your continent to do the same thing. The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. Now then, to make our much better cosmic brownie, whip out a stand mixer. As you can see here, I cracked in four eggs. That's what you're gonna need to do too. And beat the eggs on medium till they're nice and smooth. Okay, put this to its lowest setting. And let's add in the dry ingredients. Half a cup of all-purpose flour. One cup of white sugar. One cup of brown sugar. And one and a half cups of cocoa powder. Oh man, so much cocoa dust. I'm gonna be sneezing out chocolate flavored boogers for days. And one last dry ingredient, half a teaspoon of salt. All right, now let's add in the wet ingredients. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And one cup or two sticks of melted unsalted butter. I want to drizzle this in slowly, otherwise a pool of melted butter is gonna to come to the top. All right, once the butter is incorporated, turn the mixer off and scrape down the sides of the bowl. Get my GoPro camera out of the way first. Give it a nice stir. And it's ready for the pan. Speaking of which, I have here a 12 by five baking pan and I aligned it with parchment paper glued on with non-stick spray. Using non-stick spray to make something stick. Now that's a culinary paradox right there. So grab our batter and just pour it on in. Don't worry about it getting it too even. It'll even out in the oven. I know we're in the middle of a pandemic, but... Mmm, raw eggs. Stick our proto brownie into the middle of our oven. And let it cook for 35 to 45 minutes. Okay, take our brownies, put it onto a heat proof mat, use and grab it by the parchment and place it onto a cooling rack. This is important because if we let it cool down in the pan, it's gonna compromise the chewy texture of the brownie. I mean, seriously, I can still feel the heat on this thing. So put it on a cooling rack where it can... Cool. Okay, our brownie has cooled down enough. Now we can prepare it for the ganache topping. But first we gotta put it back in its pan. So, so grab yourself something flat and sturdy and flip it over. Gently remove the parchment paper. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, forget about the DVD logo hitting the corner of the screen. This here was a truly satisfying moment. All right, place our baking pan back over it. And flip it over once again. Okay, now we can work on the ganache filling. I have here in this bowl, eight ounces or one cup of milk chocolate chips. And to a small sauce spot, let's add three quarters cup of heavy cream. Let's bring this to a boil. All right, it's beginning to simmer. Don't let this boil, otherwise I, you'll now know how my ex feels. Now pour our hot cream over our chocolate. 
Wait a moment for the chocolate to melt. Then using a small whisk or the beater for my hand mixer. Can't seem to find it anywhere. Mix the cream and the chocolate together. Uh, this is looking too thin. Let's add a little bit more chocolate. Now this is the consistency you want right here. You want it to be slightly thicker than blood. Now here comes the fun part, pouring it on top of our brownie. Sprinkle on about two ounces of mini M&Ms. Cover it in plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge so it can solidify. And voila folks, a superior cosmic brownie. This thing has enough sugar to kill Wilfred Brimley. And um, what's that? Oh. You know, let me do my sign off before I get canceled. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm Sierra J, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Jeez, oh, which one of these jokes is going to get me canceled harder? The one about the Pokemon movie or Wilfred Brimley? <laughs>